Welcome trader to the Noob Shark uh, channel and this is our second video talking about funding rate uh, and today you're going to see how the funding rate uh, uh, trend can give you a great edge while operating in crypto market okay if you are not familiar to funding rate i truly recommend you to watch our first video i'm gonna leave the card here and there's a full playlist regarding funding rate because every video we post here there is a new and perfect edge to help you to how can i say uh, uh Take some evolution in your trade regarding market sentiment, okay? And there we go to our intro. In uh, less than 50 seconds, I'm back so we can explore this amazing, amazing, amazing edge. Welcome to Noob Sharks, the channel dedicated to provide the latest trading knowledge. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced trader, we've got you covered. If you're into cryptocurrencies, we'll keep you updated with the latest news and trends in the market. And if you're a stock, Forex or commodity trader, we'll give you the edge you need to succeed in the market. Our focus is on providing quality education, so you can make informed trading decisions. So, if you're ready to take your trading skills to the next level, smash the like, subscribe, turn on the notifications and share with your friends. If you want to support us, you can donate your backs from your Brave browser or check the video description for great opportunities on affiliate links donation wallets and our great merch store buckle up and get ready we are about to start there we go this is the last topic we discussed discussing in our very first video this is the funny rate matrix okay and uh, today you're gonna keep on using our coin glass website remember that this is 100 percent free you don't have to sign for anything okay and uh, i'm gonna take now the option live charts okay it's up here just have to click here probably there's some configuration already done by me but uh, then I, I will have to you know like erase everything and we can start doing this since the very beginning okay there's nothing here if something opens here i don't know what okay uh just delete everything and start from the scratch so we can uh, apply our uh let's say our funding rate here and uh, start to understand how to use it okay first you come here on indicators okay oh there's no magic here here right okay we have a the time frames here one minute 50 minutes or whatever you have all of the options you have the candles here we have the indicators okay so there's nothing really new okay I come to indicators and I get featured here and I'm gonna search for funding rates and important okay I'm gonna put funding rates and funding rates key line so you can check both of them you're gonna see that they are the same and in the end it's just a matter of which one you like the best okay and everybody makes video using binance uh, btc usdt i'm gonna change it i don't know let's say let's choose one, like alpha okay let's take it you can do it with any token okay alpha oh it's hard to type today what is going on okay how alpha and alpha here you have uh, it listed on per uh, listed on perpetual futures on binance bitget bitget bybit and okx and if you watch the first video you already know which one we are going to choose right we are going to choose binance okay you know that right okay great but augusto uh, uh, i'm not uh, uh, making my trades on binance i'm making my trades on bybit right not a problem you are gonna build your analyze your uh, your your study on binance ah but i like to use uh, i don't know uh bing x okay no problem you have to analyze on binance uh, volumes and then you open your position on the exchange you like the best okay so these are the funding rates okay this they are not like this let me do like this okay a reset settings okay so when you apply the funding rate it will come just like this okay let me add uh, also the other one okay maybe i changed something here but let's go to the beginning again funding rates funding rates key line okay nice you have the funding rate and the funding rate key lines you choose what we like the best okay i don't like the key lines i don't know it's uh, much uh, uh, information that uh, doesn't say anything to me it's just uh, i don't know too much information 
with uh, no chance to increase my money income. So I take this out. And here I like to make an important change. I come here to settings, okay? And uh, for me, it's really difficult to, to, to I don't know, to analyze uh, the, this histogram. So I prefer to use lines, okay? And I make it a little bit stronger, okay? Just like this, okay? It's just a visual stuff, okay? You have, you can do it whatever you would like. Oh, there's a lot of... Come on, oh, yeah. Of course, uh, I'm getting alpha because I made some trades here, okay? And this is the reason why you have some lines. And uh, you are going to understand now the powerful... Oh, the power of the funding rate trend, okay? Basically, here you cannot see the trend much because the funding rate just made a very, very aggressive movement here. So I'm going to do just like this, just in order to see uh, the movements here on this small region here. Okay, this is why, what I want to analyze first, because, you know, I took this trade, you know, I, I did this. And uh, that's the, the reason why I decided to record this video, so you can see this in reality. Okay, well, uh, Alpha made a bump here. Okay, you can see that Alpha made a bump here. How? Well, look at this here. Bef uh, you, you can see here the funding rate, right? So once I put my uh, mouse here, you can see the funding rate at this moment. If I move it, it will change, right? And you can see that the, in this exactly moment, the funding rate was positive, right? Okay. And I want to see what's going to happen with the funding rate when the price moves. So let's check it. One moment, right, the funding rate decreased, okay? Neutral funding rate is still very neutral, but it decreased. Then the price made a small bump. What happened with the funding rate? The funding rate decreased. When I see this trend, what I like to do, you do whatever you like, but what I like to do, I like to get a line in the body of this candle, okay? And see, whoa. The funding rate is decreasing. It means people are closing longs and opening shorts. If people are closing longs on Binance and opening shorts, there's a big chance that we can see some market manipulation to pull the price up and liquidate these longers. Oh, this shorter, sorry. Okay. So if the price breaks this up, I'm going to consider and, and if price breaks this up and the funding rate keeps on going down, I'm going to consider open a long position, okay? Next candle, what happened? Okay, fine, uh, funding rate decreased a lot. The next candle, funding rate goes almost to zero, and we have a breakout. And if we measure here, you have, you, we had an interesting pump of about 14%, okay? Remember, as I told you on video one, okay, the front shield of your car is price action, okay? It can be Fibonacci, it can be ICT, it can be SMC, whatever you like, okay? But before making a maneuver, you look at your mirror, and the mirror is mar uh, market sentiment. Your mirror is, one of the example of your mirrors is the funding rate, okay? So when I see this, I don't get into the, tr the, the, the trade just like this, okay? I try to search a price action that motivates me to jump into this trade. It could be a breakout, it could be, I don't know, another block mitigation, whatever, uh, respect on Fibonacci level, whatever it is, but I won't discuss this on this video, okay? I just want to show you that. And look at that. When the price made this pump, the funding rate was 0 0.001. What happened next? 004. What happened next? 005. It means that now people are doing the opposite. People are opening longs. If people are opening longs, I will do the opposite. I'm going to get this candle here. I'm going to draw a line. And I want to see if the price breaks this line. Maybe not here, maybe not here. Oh, maybe not here, but maybe here. Okay, so I can open a short position. I can put my stop loss somewhere in here. And I can keep my short open until my price action says 
or until I see a reversal on funding rate trend. So now funding rate is neutral. Look at that, 001. Neutral, neutral, price drops a little. Neutral, neutral, price drops, okay? And suddenly price goes up. And when price goes up, it keeps on neutral. I don't do anything to open a new position. And now price drops. And what does people do? People are shorting it. People are shorting it. If so, if people are shorting it, I'm interested in longing it. So I can make this magic line here. And there's nothing magic on it. It's something really simple. And I see, I will see what happens with the funding rate. Funding rate drops to 0 0.001. Funding rate drops to 0.005. Funding rates gets negative. Funding rates got even lower. And this was a pre-pump sign. Just uh, it worked like the here, it worked like it. Okay. What do you think about the funding rate trend? Right? Let's look at the top now. Okay. Now we have to analyze this area here. What happened is when the price pumped, everybody starts to shorting this token badly. How many times have you done that? You see, ah, the price pumped a lot. It has to go down now. It has to go down now. And now, in the very top, funding rate is like minus 1.5. Extreme. So I get here, I don't know. Uh, probably I, I would take some profit here, of course, because it was a huge pump. Look at that. It was a huge, very huge, huge pump. Well, 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 more than 30%. And then you start looking at the market again. Funding rate to neutral, 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 neutral. I don't care about, oh, minus 5, minus 5, minus 5, sorry. So I want to draw a line more or less like here. And I want to see if the price goes up, okay? Price might go up, might go down, okay? And suddenly the price drops. If the price drops, okay, I don't want to go to a long position. Even if the funding rate is extremely negative. Let's see what happens. It keeps the same. There's no trend. It's minus 1.5. From here, basically from here to here, there is no trend. There is no trend. So I don't do anything. I want to see a trend. So we have here minus 1.5, no trend, nothing is changing on funding rate, absolutely nothing is changing on funding rate. And what is happening now? Funding rate is getting positive again, right? Funding rate is getting positive again. If funding rate is getting positive again, I'm going to get somewhere here, I'm going to draw a line and let's see what happens. If it breaks this line down, I'm going to search for short positions, right? It's going up. It's going up. Maybe I will change this line to this red candle here. It's going up. It's going up. Maybe I'll change my line to this red candle here. It's going up. And suddenly it got positive. Okay. Let's see if the trend shows something more to me. Okay. It's getting negative again. It's getting negative again. So it's getting negative again. I need to put a line here. Let's hope that it breaks up and gets even more negative. Okay. And let's see what happens here. It's getting negative, but we have no breakout. It's getting negative. Very, very negative. Okay. Very, but we see a trend here. 007. 006. 007. Six, six, five, six, zero. Come on, I want to do this. I would do this here when the price is sideways. Okay, look at that. The price is basically sideways. And look at the change here. Six, eight, six, five, six, zero. So come on, I'm going to put this here. I'm going to take this risk. And then if I really took this risk and I might not have taken this risk in this perfect area, I could see like here 58, 54, 
I say, ah, ah, come on, I'm gonna wait here. Okay, let's see, it breaks. Oh, wow, in the end, it was a magical short. It was a magical short, right? It was perfect, okay? So, if you do this alone, if you use this information alone, you probably will have some trouble, okay? But if you do this based on a very good price action, SMC, ICT, Fibonacci, trend lines, wedges, triangles, or whatever, and you add this information, you are going to avoid a lot of fake outs. And you are going to be able to jump into a trade a little bit before you have a confirmation of price action. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please share, please subscribe, please tell the news to the people because uh, this might help you to make a lot of money. See you then. My best regards and I wish you a lot of money.